Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video we talked about creating border radiuses. In this video I want to talk about creating box shadows. And this is another CSS3 attribute that makes our borders just kind of that more 3D looking or that more contemporary. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's go to our code. Let's check out our CSS. And down here I'm going to go ahead and type box shadow. And this is how it works. This is from the right. This is how far the shadow is going to move from the right. And we'll say 10 pixels. This is how far it's going to move from the top. And we'll say 10 pixels. And this is how much it's going to fade, like fizzle out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I'll just do 20 pixels. And we'll call it silver. And we'll do black. So we'll see how the fade works. Save it. Reload it. That looks pretty cool, huh? See, our fade's about 15 pixels. That's a lot of fade. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's kind of mess around with this. Let's do uh, maybe 15, 15, and 15. Let's see what this looks like. Let's save that. So it just moved a little bit, five more pixels out to the right, five more pixels down and it created a little bit less of a fade. So see how it gives it that kind of three-dimensional effect and just makes it look just better, kind of futuristic. I think it looks better. And you can also do it to the inside too. We could do the inside of our div tag. We could just go ahead and click. We'll do another box shadow. We will do five pixels, five, pixels and five pixels and we'll call it white and to do it on the inside you need to type in inset just like that let's reload this mm, I don't know about that oh and it overrid our black one okay let's just get the, the inside one out of here okay so maybe I'm wrong maybe you can only have one or the other it's not a problem though Keep the box shadow, save it, let's reload it. I like that better. In the last video, we talked about how we have to create this Moz border radius right here to um, make it compatible for older browsers. But I want to do that for Safari too. And for Safari, we use WebKit. We need to click on W E B Kit Box shadow and let's just steal this information WebKit stands for Safari and Google Chrome there's not really old versions of Google Chrome so you're really just talking about Safari delete that perfect and now this will work on older versions of Safari and I'll do um, I think that's it I think that's it for the most part I think we're full we're, we're, we're bulletproof we're a full proof proof plan this Border radius and the shadow now will work on every browser. So good luck with this, guys. Hopefully this made a little bit of sense. And in the next video, we'll start talking about the main content and uh, add in a video or a slideshow as well as the footer. All right, guys, good luck.